restroom in here somewhere. I've been coming to Telluride for the last five or six years, you know, give a little lecture, lead a foyer or something, and uh, I like to do some cooking too. I used to have a restaurant, and so I whip up some wild mushroom dishes that are just killer. So I think these hawk wings are about ready, John. We need someone to serve. Yo, it's chow time. There's something really cool about finding free food, you know, going out in the woods and, hey, look, you can eat that. I grew up on a Christmas tree farm. We were, we were a little more remote, you know. So I ended up spending a lot of time roaming around the woods and, and hanging out in the trees and collecting mushrooms and doing that kind of stuff. Why are mushrooms fascinating? I, I feel like I just kind of tripped over a rock and started digging it out and found out that there was a whole mountain under there, you know. It was like once I, I picked the mushroom and started following it back to the tree roots and into the soil, suddenly I realized it's, it's all hooked up. It's all hooked up to the same big ecosystem. Bolivia is just amazing. Uh, I started going down there in 97, and I've been back uh, every year the last few years checking out the species in the upper Amazon rainforest. Gonna machete our way through this stuff. Look at the color of that butterfly. In four days, we found like almost 300 different species of mushroom. I mean, the diversity is just incredible. And out of those, there were at least 50 that I had never seen before. There's just so much unknown in the world of mushrooms. Look at that. Holy moly. What a monster. Very thin flesh. Very wiggly, rubbery, coming from a termite nest. I can't seem to give them up. I just like morels too much. I like other shrooms and such, but I just like morels too much. Oyster mushrooms, mighty fine seafood, and some nice white wine. Chanterelles are tasty too, and a wild mushroom ragu. Store-bought shrooms can be a crutch, but I just like morels too much. Well, I've always loved morels, you know. I grew up picking them. Arctic morels are incredible. Because the, the day goes almost 24 hours up there, you don't have the sudden drop in temperature. They just keep growing and growing and growing and growing. First couple of pickles I've seen for a while. Cook them up, fry them down. I like them when they're nice and brown. Pick all day, and when I'm done, I'll fry them up and eat a ton. Every year I haul hundreds of pounds of morels down to the farmer's market. People like it.
As children were told to avoid wild mushrooms. In fact, I remember being warned when I was um, mowing the lawn not to let the lawnmower run over any kind of toadstool that was growing because it could somehow wreck the motor. Please, please don't eat the mushrooms. Don't eat the mushrooms. Please, 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 please. Those of us in Telluride are fungophiles, people who really love mushrooms, uh, as opposed to most people in North America who are really fungophobes. They're people who fear mushrooms. And part of it has to do with the background uh, where we don't have the, the, the tradition of collecting mushrooms in our forests. We don't have um, relatives that have been collecting mushrooms over generations, as you find in Europe and in Asia. And when you ask people about mushrooms around the uh, um, the states and such, you find that what mushrooms they know about are the few things that are available in the markets. Sometimes they call them portobellos or creminis, but they're all varieties of the common commercial button mushroom, which is easy and cheap to cultivate. Mushrooms. These in the package here, or these here. These over here are what they call cremini or brown mushroom. And of course, over here we have the big ones, which are the portobellas. I was gonna get some of the uh, more oriental type of mushrooms in, but yeah, it's, we're gonna see how that goes. Then Campbell Kids will pick the best and ask the cow for cream for Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. The taste is just a dream. It's nourishing, too, and gives you proteins, vitamins, and minerals to help you grow. Campbell soup, Campbell soup, 21 kinds of Campbell soup, lunch or dinner for breakfast, too. Soup every day makes a soup for you. Soup tastes good and it's good for you once a day. Every day have Campbell. Mmm, good. The mushroom industry has a vested interest against wild mushrooms. The reality is there are only a few really deadly mushrooms and not many more that are poisonous. So it's a matter of learning about them. When I moved to the country, I realized that I was starved for nature. I would, day after day, drop everything and just walk in the woods looking for mushrooms. Just paying attention to anything in nature and forgetting oneself a little bit results in days that pass very quickly. <laughs> 